Hello everybody, Jurassic Player here, and today I'm going to be showing you the R4, the official kernel, which is extremely outdated. So as you can see, you have the bottom screen with three icons, game, multimedia, and the boot slot 2. And on the top, you just have the top screen, and then their little R4DS English version. Uh, so first off, I guess I'll just uh, say what the buttons do. Um, the select button changes the themes, but apparently it doesn't work for me. I'm not exactly sure why. In either, in any case, you shouldn't really be using this kernel anyway because it's extremely outdated um, you're better off using wood r4 or ys menu one of the two is fine um, so anyways uh, there is boot slot 2 so I have a slot 2 somewhere uh, here we go oh no uh, that's my light well Pretty much boot slot 2 just boots to your slot 2, and that's about it. Um, multimedia opens up an NDS file which was called underscore ds underscore mshl dot nds. It doesn't exactly matter what kind of nds it is, so any other home boot would be fine. Um, and then there's the game. Oh, by the way, this is the date and this is the time. So right now it is four in the morning. And so when you click the game, um, you have the bottom screen, which just tells you a little bit of information. Uh, and then the top screen, which is your file list. On the top left, you can see the type of file that you can that is being viewed if you press select you can change that so you can change it to ebook it only supports text files if I remember correctly um, you can view saves and files just all files um, I believe if you view saves you are able to back them up which pretty much means just copy them and rename them dot back instead of dot save. Um, I don't exactly have any games on here. Not that any of the ones that I have to show you would probably work anyway. Um, but yeah, so pretty much it's a very simple browser. Um, On the bottom screen, you can see there is pretty much nothing. Um, there's the brightness, the soft reset, I believe, and then just a little bit of yeah. It just pretty much tells you the date that it was last revised. It tells you the file, uh, the inner header, I believe and the icon and the file name. Uh, apart from that, the brightness and the soft reset also work with the L and R buttons, so you can just toggle those. And uh, let's see, let's boot up some things. So, Moonshell. So when you boot up something, it just loads up, it, well, if you don't have a save file, it doesn't matter what kind of NDS file it is, it'll just always ask you this. Um, since this is a homebrew, you don't really need a save file, so I'm just gonna click ignore. And that's it. It just boots up. It's pretty quick um, in terms of homebrew. Other things, maybe not so much. Um. In any case, that is the R4 with practically nothing. 
Um, yeah, I don't really recommend you use this kernel anymore. Um, I'd very much rather recommend using Wood R4, um, which is available uh, if you go to GBA Temp. Check it out, GBA Temp. And of course, just so happens that there is a new wood firmware for it, which is version 1.23. And that supports, I believe, most, if not all, of the latest games. So, as you can see, these are the latest ones so far. And, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you stick around to watch my next video.